Hello dear students. The topic for today is Magnetic Separation Method. So in this session, we will be discussing about the magnetic properties, separation of iron from a mixture of iron and sulfur, concentration of ore, and then we'll be discussing about the principle and working of the magnetic separation method. In order to understand this separation method, let's first recall what do we understand by magnetic and non-magnetic particles. Let's carry out a very simple activity. Over here, vessel A contains sulfur powder, whereas vessel B contains iron filings. Now, let us mix them in vessel C. Now, let us take a magnet and simply move it over this mixture of iron and sulfur. What do you observe? Can you see something sticking to the magnet? What's that? Is it iron filings? Yes, exactly. What can you conclude from this? Since iron filings stick to the magnet, they are magnetic in nature. But what about the sulfur powder? They do not stick to the magnet, which means they are not attracted to the magnet and so they are non-magnetic in nature. Similarly, children, the ore also is made up of two main particles. The ore particles, that is the metal particles, and the impurities which are called as the gang particles. Concentration of the ore simply means separating the impurities from the ore. But how do we do this? The ore particles and the gang particles can be magnetic or non-magnetic in nature. Now based on the magnetic property of these particles, we can separate the impurities from the ore. This concentration technique is based on the difference in magnetic properties of ore and impurities. So let's understand the magnetic separation method. Over here, an electromagnetic machine is required. The main parts of this machine are two types of rollers and the conveyor belt moving continuously around them. Now, out of these two rollers, one of the rollers is electromagnetic and the other is non-magnetic. The conveyor belt moves along the non-magnetic roller and is made up of leather or brass. The powdered ore is poured on the conveyor belt near the non-magnetic roller. Now, below the magnetic roller, two collector vessels are placed. The non-magnetic particles of the ore are not attracted towards the magnetic roller and so they fall in the collector vessel and they are not carried further along the belt. Simultaneously, the magnetic particles of the ore remain stuck to the magnetic roller and therefore fall in another collector vessel. Hence, in this manner, the magnetic and the non-magnetic ingredients of the ore are separated based on their magnetic nature. Now, this method is used for the concentration of hematite ore, which is an iron ore. Ore particles being magnetic fall near to the roller and can be separated from the silicous gang by this technique. This method also can be used for the separation of non-magnetic ore particles like tungsten from magnetic impurities of iron that is wolframite ore, a tin ore cassiterite which contains mainly the magnetic part as ferrous tungstate and the non-magnetic particle as stannic oxide. So this was all about the magnetic separation method. So now let us see whether you can answer these questions. Explain the magnetic separation method in detail. What are the types of impurities that can be separated by magnetic separation method? And what are the applications of the magnetic separation method? So I hope that you have understood whatever we have discussed today. Thank you and happy learning.